Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to increase the size of your VirtualBox virtual disk file or VDI file using the command line. And the reason you might want to do that is because you're limited in the VirtualBox manager as to how big you can make your VDI file. So let's say I have this Windows 10 VM here and I have this disk here that's 50 gigabytes and I want to make that 3 terabytes. So normally if I want to increase it I could go to the virtual media manager find that one, see that it's 50 gigabytes, and then I could drag up to 2 terabytes to increase it, but as you can see, 2 terabytes is the limit. So what I need to do is go to the command line and increase the size from there. So in order to do that, you'll need to open a command prompt, and then navigate to the location of your virtual box installation. If yours is the same as mine, then it should be exactly what mine is here. So. So it's program files slash oracle slash virtualbox. And then once you're in that directory, you're going to need to run a command. So I have it listed here. So the command is vbox manage exe modify hd. Then this is important. You want the path to your um, VDI file. So mine is not in the default program files. So here's the path to mine under virtualbox VMs. Make sure it's in quotes. And then the VM name is win10 or w10. And then that file name was w10 underscore one as you can see here and here's the, the same path right there you could actually just go here and copy the path and then if you wanted to you know paste it into notepad first like i did so you could kind of tweak the command and make sure it looks good before you run it and then you want to space and dash dash resize and it has to be in megabytes so you need to convert terabytes to megabytes which you could do online with google so i have three terabytes equals what do we got here? 3 million blah 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 megabytes. So I'm just going to copy this command here. Go to my prompt here. Paste it in by just right clicking. Hit enter to run it. And then it did it really quick. So now if I go back to my virtual media manager here, you'll see that it's 3 terabytes. And if I go back to my virtual box manager, you'll see that it's 3 terabytes. And it was really quick. And then you know, the command's not too hard. You know, I'll, I'll put the command in the uh, description. Then you could just kind of tweak it for yourself. And um, hopefully you could kind of get the way, you, the way it needs to be done and put in your path and so on and your size and then run it and you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching.